You've activated my trap card! Oh, he's... Doing big things, turning into a Trumbeak already. Level 14, I didn't know what level it evolved, but that's big for us, actually. Here comes the Nicket, and this is a Shadow Nicket. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa! What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Up to guys, another episode of our Pokemon Bushido Nuzlocke Let's Play. I hope you guys are excited. I most certainly am as we are diving into another episode of this journey. I do ask that if you are enjoying, to take a second out of your day and just hit that like button if you haven't yet. It, it really helps out. So take a second, like the video, and of course, if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. Here's the Hagane Springs, and we're gonna explore the Hagane Town. I think this is where we actually heal. You get to step in and I think you heal your Pokemon here. That's kind of cool. Uh, instead of having like uh, a way to heal otherwise. I wonder if these, oh, what do you do? Oh, your throat likes the hot springs and this guy, okay. Well, that's cool. So that's how you heal. You don't use regular Pokemon centers here, which is pretty interesting. And uh, just a quick team recap. We've got three members. I really need to find me some Pokeballs. So we're gonna try to figure out where that is. And maybe I can get an encounter here in Hagane City. It's probably this guy. Do you sell me stuff? Oh, you sell me a bunch of things that heal me. Miso ramen. Oh, that's kind of interesting, but that doesn't help me if I need Pokeballs. Do you sell me Pokeballs? You don't. All right, well, let's look around. And our like goal for today, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, sorry, but is 6,000 likes. Our like goal was 10,000 for the first uh, first day. Now it's 6,000 for this one, because we're on episode two. But I know you guys can hit that. Like, I know you guys can, so let's do it. We just got a bento box, and I'm gonna just explore the town, see what we find, and keep on keeping on here. Oh, this guy just gave me a spray duck so I can plant some berries. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use that. This guy's gonna read the hearts of my Pokemon? Uh, oh, I guess he's the happiness checker, probably. Oh, this guy will trade me a Riolu for a Larvesta. Bro, I wish I find a Riolu, like that would be incredible. This looks like it could be the Mart where I could buy Pokeballs and you already know I'm gonna stock up. Yes, oh wow, he gives me some good stuff here. So we've got some quick balls. I'm gonna grab a couple of those. Uh, I'll grab a couple great balls so we don't have any more fails. And then I'll grab a nice plethora of Pokeballs here. Maybe I'll get a Premier Ball as well, let's see. Yeah, he did throw in the Premier Ball, very nice. And this guy sells scrolls. The user forcefully shoots seeds at the target to... Oh, these are different attacks. That's so Bullet Seed, that's Round, uh, Light Screen, Full Swipe, Trick Room. Oh, that's sick. Oh my God, that's so cool. And this guy's selling Healing Jams and stuff. Citrus Berries, actually that could be pretty clutch, Citrus Berries. Um, I may actually grab the citrus berries. I'm like so low on money, I don't really want to spend any right now. And this guy has stones if I want to evolve. Yo, they give you some stuff early game, that's hype. Oh, if I catch 20 Pokemon, this guy's gonna give me something, but I don't think I'm gonna get to 20. And I can't go upstairs because I don't have enough, uh, I guess, maple leaves to qualify. So I wonder what's down here, is this a new route? This is the Shizen Trail. So we do get a new encounter down there. I have not gotten an encounter in Hagane City. I don't know if I can, I may be able to Will you battle me? No. I don't think they're gonna battle me. I'm gonna just explore a little bit, make sure I don't miss anything. But there seems to be quite a bit to do. This is probably where the tournament is. Oh, there's some crustles blocking the way. Well, I don't know if I can go battle them. I don't think I want to. So I guess it looks like I'm heading south right now. Oh, this is the Shogun Tower up ahead. And there's our rival. So we may have to battle them. I'm probably gonna wanna grab some more encounters, at least that one that we can grab. And there's some we got the Kaio Sea over here too, so we may be able to actually grab a few encounters. Let's take a look at the sea, and then I'm gonna head backwards to that trail and see if there's an encounter there, and then I'll probably do the tournament. I don't wanna be under underprepared if I can avoid it. Huh, who can help me? I would probably need the strongest Kenshi in all of Ice Show. He appears to be lost in thought. Oh, okay, bro. I wish I could cross the sea. I need a, I have to be able to run on the water like the Shimizu clan. There's a Sharpedo in the water, so we can't really get to the water, but what I could do is maybe get a Shellos. This is considered a new area, right? Yeah, so the Kaio Sea, I could potentially get the Shellos, maybe? No, I can't get an encounter. I don't think I got the old rod, did I? Nah, so there's nothing I can do over here. So let's go back to that trail. I'm gonna explore the trail before I do anything, and then we'll come back to Hagane City. All right, we are on Shizen Trail, so let's get our encounter and see what it's gonna be. Oh, there's a battle going up there too, so I'm not gonna be able to go that far. Oh, there's a shaking patch of grass. Let's see what it is. Azorua! Level 13 Zorua. 
Yo, that's a really hype Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna Water Gun it. He's gonna Torment, which means I can't use the same move twice. But I definitely feel way better now that I have... If I could catch this thing, this would be massive, because Zora is a good Mon. Um, I don't think I want to attack again. Let me start chucking some Pokeballs at it and see if I can catch him at this range. I may have to weaken him just a little bit more, but let's see if we can catch this thing. All right, I put him to sleep and weaken him into the red. So let's see if this works. Yes, I got him, dude. Let's go. We've already failed way too many encounters in this for me to be happy. I have to catch some stuff. And we're going to get a Zorua, which is really hype. Like, that's not a mod that I've used a ton of. So to protect themselves from danger, they hide their true identities by transforming into people and Pokemon. So I'm very excited about this, and I'm going to name it... I really like the name Eclipse. I feel like that's a, it's a name that I, I just think it fits very nicely. So let's take a look at Eclipse, the Zora. I definitely want to heal him up. But it is a careful nature with mischievous, so that's not, I mean, that's not that great, but he's very offensive and has Hone Claws, which are quite like, and Fury Swipes. So what I want to do now is I've got four members of the team. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to just grab some levels. I just want to grab like a few levels just because I don't want to be underprepared moving into whatever that tournament has in store for us. So let me get everyone just a little bit trained up, and then we will take a look and see what we got going on in the uh, the big tower. All right, looks like this dude wants to battle us. Uh, before I go any further, let's see how strong he is. He's got three mons. He's going to lead it off with a full Bebe at level 12. So that tells me that that's about where I want to be. And I should be able to beat him pretty easily with what we have. Although he is going to... Oh, he could have water moves. Yeah, I was just about to say. You know what? Let's be smart about this. Let's go Paula. Paula does have acid, and it's not going to be weak to those grass type moves. So we can hit it with some nice... Uh, there's a fairy wind. That shouldn't do much, though. Paul is pretty bulky. Let's go for that big acid attack. I do kind of wish we were uh, poisoned, but we'll acid again. He's going to fairy wind. I probably am going to have to do some switching. Yeah, this thing is kind of beating us up a little bit right now. Um, let's go out into Sammy here, and I can start going for echoed voices and maybe kind of steamroll the rest of the team. Hopefully it vine whips. It's going to fairy wind. Uh, Sammy takes that relatively well. This isn't... This full baby is kind of a problem. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, he's kind of wrecking me a little bit. Oh, he crit me! Luckily, our berry's gonna activate. Jeez, man. I need to, like I said, I gotta level up because we're having some issues right now. We're having some issues. Poseidon gets a level. Everyone's getting a lot of XP at least. And then here comes a Shinx. Oh, you are. Tell me how Shinx is so good against me right now. Tell me how Shinx, like, kind of wrecks me, bro. I gotta go Eclipse. Level 13 Shinx. This thing is a problem. This thing is a problem right now. He's gonna go for charge. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for Hone Claws and then Fury Swipes, I think. Let's see what he's gonna do. I hope he only has, he's gonna bite. Okay, that's actually really lucky for us. Um, I'm gonna go for Fury Swipes and this is plus one Fury Swipes, so it does a little bit more and I only get two hits, but three hits will put us in a good spot. So let's hit him three times this time. One. Ooh, and I get two again and he bites again so at least he's like using really bad moves and I don't have to worry about missing with home claws so that's good let's see what else you got I might have to heal supersonic uh I'll go I'll get rid of growl for supersonic I don't think we're gonna use it but what else you got Paul is trying to learn confusion which I love I will get rid of I'll see us using curse I'll get rid of tackle actually because maybe we do use curse and here comes a Talo. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I am boosted, so I do want to heal up. Um, let me use a healing jam and see. Let me use a healing jam and see what this Talo wants to do. And then maybe he's gonna quick attack me. Okay, I can take one more quick attack. So let's go for Fury Swipes. I'm gonna have to switch out after this quick attack though. And let's see how much this does. A five hit would be really great. I only get two. Okay, well then I know what I gotta do. I gotta go Poseidon. No pursuit should be okay. I think Poseidon can take this thing on. This is just a random trainer chilling here, and he's giving me all sorts of problems right now. Uh, water gun. He's gonna focus energy. Okay. All right, we got him. <laughs> Dude, that was scarier than I wanted it to be. Eclipse gets some love, and actually, I might as well honestly try to evolve Poseidon. Let me grab these berries. I'm assuming I can't go any further anyway. So I gotta go heal up now that I got some berries and do some training in this patch of grass. Whoa, there's a wild Vivion in the grass? What? Bro, I'm legit just trying to grind in the grass here and I run into a wild Vivion. Like, just straight chilling. Uh, this is great XP. Oh, he's got Sleep Powder too. Yo, that would have been a busted Mon to get at this point in the game. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, we got Zoro, which is hype. 
But that would have been that would have been kind of busted. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go Sammy to get a peck off. But man, that would have been insane, dude. This is I, I've never seen a game before. I I've even I haven't even done anything yet. I I don't know if I've ever seen a game that give. He really just put me to sleep too. That gives you a Pokemon this strong right out the gates. This might be a problem. I'm just trying to get some XP right now. Hold up. Oh, I woke up. There we go. Jeez, I probably get a lot of XP for this though. I have to run back and heal again though. Jeez. Yeah, that was a lot of XP. Oh my God, yes. Oh, Sammy's a full bear already. Let's get it, squad. Toucan Samantha doing big things, turning into a Trumbeak already, level 14. I didn't know what level it evolved, but that's big for us, actually. I love the evolution background. It's so beautiful. And now we have a Trumbeak. That's, that's really big. That's really big. Oh, another pattern Vivian, man. They got them all over the place. And Poseidon is evolving! Hey, I did have the speed up on because I was training a little bit. But Poseidon has evolved into a Dewat. So let's take a look at it. Boom! Dewat. Jolly nature, obviously. And now picks up level 16. So a couple big evos. I do want to give Paula just a little bit, like maybe one more level. So let me head back, heal one more time, get that extra level, and then we're going to take on the tournament. All right, I got the team trained up to a good level and gave them all citrus berries, which will hopefully be helpful. So let's head north here and see what's going down. There is our, uh, our rival Akane. Hey, Drive, it took you long enough. Oh, you went to the shrine. It makes sense that you'd want to pray before the tournament. You saw Celebi? What? We'll talk about this later. We have to get a move on. All right, let's head inside. And here is Shogun's Tower. Akane says, psst. Get in line, you don't want to disrespect the Shogun. Young Kenshi, I am the Aisho Shogun, and today you will prove yourself before me. Oh, it's the three people, the three clan leaders. Here with me, I have the three major clan leaders. That, that's what I just said. <laughs> Harumi Kohana, leader of the Kamare clan. Nori Hinata, leader of the Nensho clan. My Hitomu, leader of the Shimizu clan. It is time for you all to shine brighter than the Royal Samurai's katana. Let the Kenshi tournament battles commence! All right, let's do it. First, we have Adrive Masayoshi versus Kayoki Sawaki. Masayoshi? The Masayoshi? That must mean they're the Royal Samurai's child. I am Kayoko Sawaki of the Sawaki family. Let us commence. This is so cool, dude. This is so cool that like, all the characters in this game have this lineage that's so important to them. And it's so important to the core of this game. I, I just think it's so sick. As someone who like, you know, my family name is, is actually an adopted name. Uh, my dad was adopted. So it's, it's totally a different vibe than going back in time in Japan here. So prepare yourselves. I'll be trying my best. All right, so we're very over leveled right now, which I feel good about. Um, I think I just click home claws. I obviously have, this is not Paula, if you couldn't tell. We're using Illusion. <laughs> I've got Zoroark on the field, or Zoro. So he does have Aqua Jet though, what? Okay, well there goes my Illusion. You've activated my trap card. Oh, he's. I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> I, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. My dude's got rough skin and I just use a multi-hit move. How is that fair? Anyway, we're okay. Paula, you're not Paula though. It's supposed to change your name. You're not actually Paula, but that's okay. And what else you got for me? A Tim, oh, you know I'm switching now. Okay, uh, Paula is, this is your chance, Paula. Now you can come out, Paula. Now you can come out to the field. Yes, please. Here's a focus energy that's a little, little problematic, but confusion should be solid. I will say, if he hits me with a crit right now that I'm minus one, he's got a chance to do some serious damage. Uh, we resist low kick though, so we're okay. Confusion comes off, should knock on the timber, no problem. And what else you got for me? And Eclipse wants to learn Scary Face, which I don't really feel like is that good, but I'll give it a Torment, because I'm never going to use Torment. Um, and here comes a Tynamo, which is an Electric type. I can't let my family down. Time to show you my true inner strength. And he's going to give him a special attack boost and a special defense boost. I'm going to go for Yawn. I'm going to put you to sleep. And he goes for Tackle. He doesn't even take advantage of the boost. Uh, and then I'm gonna go for acid. Maybe get a special defense drop. Spark, that's gonna hurt. I do have a berry though. Let's see how much his acid does. I did put him to sleep. Um, the problem is my team is like kind of weak against this thing. You know, I don't really have like a good answer for him. Like, I guess Sammy can come in. 
Try to go for some echoed voices while he's sleeping. But then I gotta take an electric move to the face. Like, I can live a spark because he's, you know, he's a, you know, his special boost is there. Actually, Rock Smash might be good. He goes for spark. I think we can live one. Okay. Yep. Pretty sure he's in Rock Smash range. I'm going for it. That was scarier than I needed to be. I probably, probably should have been more careful. Ooh, Disable. Right after I just finished talking about how I don't think Torment is good, how am I gonna justify Disable? I'm not. Thank you for this fight. I will continue to grow under my clan. All right, good luck. An excellent duel. The winner is Adri Masayoshi. Very well now, prepare for the next battle. I hope they heal me. Next we have Adri Masayoshi versus Suku Shinobu. Hi, I'm Suku, let's do our best. All right, Suku, you about to get absolutely obliterated right now. That's what's gonna happen. You're not ready for this, Suku. What you got for me? Why do I feel like you got grass types? Why do I feel like you have grass types? You got a spew, but are you the bug homie? Cause if you're the bug homie, we could be friends. We could be friends. All right, I do have to switch out though. Um, I have to go out into Sammy, I think. This thing is totally gonna paralyze me. He's gonna stun for me. But I think Sammy is the play here. I don't wanna stay out, attempts to take a struggle bug or something. He's gonna protect, so great, great play on my part. Obviously with the pro, pro play prote uh, predictions. There's the Echoed Voice, which is fine. I just click Peck over and over again here. And he goes for Harden, which is fine. I think I'm gonna go for Echoed Voice because I can get a second Echoed Voice. Like it, it'll boost the power for the next one, for the next Pokemon coming in. So Spupa goes down. And what else you got? Poseidon to 17, dude. Here comes a Sea Waddle. I have to click Peck, it's four times super effective. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the Bug Clan, which, hey, we could be friends. Oh my God, you're learning Pluck already. Ah, I love it so much. Okay. And what else? And a Ninkata. Oh, I'm so sorry. Defensive measures? You're gonna need more than defense. Oh, he, he rose sharply. Not even like a little bit, but eh, we got Pluck now. It's not looking good for you. Sorry, Ninkata. It is not looking good for you. All right, I hope I get to unlock some of these powers where I can do that in mid-battle. So I am obviously the winner. Now we have our final battle. It's gonna be, yes, of course. It's Akane Hashimoto. Yes, 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 I know. I know, and you've got a Darumaka. So we have to be very prepared for that. Poseidon is, is, needs to be reserved for the Darumaka. Let's see what Akane's got for us, our rival here. And she's gonna lead off with a Fletchling, which is fine, level 14. I've got Paula, but it's not Paula. It's secret Paula. I've grown a lot since our last battle. Don't underestimate me. She straight up burned me right out the gates! And gets a swords dance! How am I supposed to deal with that? What am I supposed to do about that? This thing legitimately just got multi- Like, what is that? I think I honestly scary face. I'm gonna scary face, drop its speed, and then I'm gonna switch out. Here comes an ember. Oh, that did very little though. But I'm burned, I can't, it's not, I can't do anything. That's so busted, bro. All right, I think I go Sammy and I start firing off echoed voices probably. Or I go Paula because Paula is very bulky. Paula is very bulky. I could honestly yawn. Maybe yawning is a good play here just to keep this thing. Uh, yeah, that, that could hurt. Yeah, I'm going to yawn it because I don't want to risk it like starting to get like big boost or whatever because it already got that plus two. And then I think we just start clicking confusion now because he's going to be, he's going to fall asleep. So this should do a good amount of damage. Yeah, it did enough. We could just get click confusion two more times and be okay. Yeah, I think we're good. He does wake up early, gets the growl off. It's not an issue though. Our confusion's fine. We're gonna beat the fletchling. And let's see what else you got for me. That's a level there. And here comes Togepi. Togepi's kind of sketch, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna yawn it. He's gonna pound. I'm gonna yawn, put him to sleep. And I just click acid. Sweet kiss, you can't do that. I have own tempo, take that. Take that. And take a nap. Yo, yawn is so good, dude. Yawn is so good. And I get a spadef drop, and he's gonna charm me, which is fine. All I gotta do is get through this Darumaka, and I think we're good. I'll tell you what, if I didn't do that little bit of training that I did, I think we would have been in trouble. This is level 15. Unleash your burning passion. Speed boost. All right. Poseidon, this is what you're made for. Poseidon is such like a fitting mon for this game too, I feel like. I think I realized that the starters are based on the different like RPG types, if I'm not mistaken, in a way, right? You got kind of the swordsman or, you know, that kind of vibe with Poseidon. 
Uh, Fennekin was the mage, and then I guess Trico is kind of like the ninja slash assassin type vibe with Sceptile, I guess. Something like that. I think that's the gist of the starter trio. You guys can feel free to tell me that I'm super wrong in the comments section. Uh, level 18 was- Oh my god! You're gonna give me Razor Shell at this point of the game? What? Okay! I love it so much. I love it so much. Wow, you really are strong. I'm glad to have a rival like you to test my strength. Very good. This concludes our tournament. The winner of the Kenshi tournament is Adri Masayoshi! What a fantastic showing from all of our participants. After the tournament. And now, after careful assessment of your ability in battle, it is climb time for your clan assignments. Come forth, Misharna. When I say your name, step forward. First, Kayoko Sawaki. Misharna, if you will. It's like the sorting hand, bro. Gryffindor. All right, real quick, question of the day for you guys. What's your Hogwarts house? Let me know in the comments section below. I know you're gonna be like, what, Adrive? What does that have to do with this? It's the sorting Misharna hat. Mine is Ravenclaw, by the way. I'm a Ravenclaw, my wife is a Hufflepuff, and that's all you need to know for today. So there you go. You have been assigned to the Akui clan. I feel like I'm gonna end up in the uh, Shimizu clan. I hear the Akui clan is up to no good. All right, Akane is coming up. I think she's obviously gotta go to the fire one. Your heart burns with the flames of courage. You've been assigned to the Nensho clan. All right. It's a perfect match, your hair is even red. And now I'm the royal royal samurai's kid, so. What do you got for me? Mishardo, are you sure this is correct? Well, it seems your affinity is undetected. Your compatibility cannot be measured. No affinity? What? That's never happened before. Please, be silent. A drive, return to the line. Next we have Fortress, use explosion! Oh, here they come! Excellent work, Fortress. Now get back in your Pokeball! Surrender your Pokemon! The Akui Clan strikes! Looks like we're having such a nice tournament. Hey, it's that kid from earlier. We didn't want that stupid Celebi anyway. That's right, the real reason we came here was to crash the tournament and get some Shadow Pokemon for ourselves. Now just hand over all your Pokemon so we can close their hearts and make them stronger. Hey, Drive, do you know these scumbags? Someone call the local Samurai at once! Yeah, right, we buffed our Pokemon up so there's no way we're losing again. I'll take this one, A-Drive. Take care of the other one for me. I'm not losing this time. You can't in your Bushido codes of honor. They're all a load of nonsense. I'll prove you wrong here and now. Wait, I just glowed. I just glowed. What was that glow? They said you were a Masayoshi. Ah, that doesn't matter. Our shadows will eclipse your light. A-Drive, is that Ryo's katana in your hand? You really are his child. Quick, throw these at their shadow Pokemon. Five great balls. You really are fools, aren't you? Our shadow Pokemon are unstoppable. Now prepare to be destroyed. Throw them at the, sh am I gonna catch their Pokemon? All right, well, let's see what we got here. That's a Toxel. Level 14, all right. That's not a shadow Pokemon though. Kenshi scum, you are worth nothing. I'll take you out. It's time to unleash my power. And here comes the spikes, obviously. And Ninja Agility. Oh, he, get, he gets a plus two speed boost as well. Okay. Um, I'm gonna click Home Claws. I probably get nuzzled and paralyzed here. Let's see. Growl. Okay, that's fine. That nullifies my plus one, but I'm gonna go for Fury Swipes, which does a decent amount. If we get like good, good rolls here on the hits, like we are about to, like that, it's very solid. And Flail is gonna hurt. Uh, okay. And Fury Swipes will finish off the Toxel, even with the plus two speed boost, Toxel slow. And Eclipse doing big things. Here comes a Gibble. Bro, you really just sent out a Gibble on me? All right, I gotta trust that I can take one hit. So I'm gonna Fury, oh, he might have rough skin. Oh God, I almost just choked that. Oh, he's got Dragon Breath. Okay, I have to switch out. I think, I think I go Sammy and start Echo Voicing or I go Paula and Yawn it. Let's go Paula. I wanna keep uh, Poseidon around as healthy as possible, just in case. Cause this battle could get really hard. There's the spikes, bro. Oh my God, all right, I got a yawn. Here comes another dragon bread. I'm gonna yawn. Okay, I gotta switch back out into Sammy now. Sammy can at least dodge the spikes cause it's a flying type. And then hopefully I don't get paralyzed from a dragon breath. Okay, now he's asleep. Okay, this gives me my opportunity to start echo voicing. And I don't know if another one will do it, but it's gonna do a lot. 
Almost, but I get a third one off. Okay. And that'll get us to level 17. And let's see what else you got. Here comes the Nicket, and this is a Shadow Nicket. And this big bright light, the ancient katana in my body. The ancient katana transformed to the katana of light. You obtain the katana of light. It can heal Pokemon and illuminate the dark. In its weakest form, the katana of light can expose the hearts of shadow Pokemon and heal your Pokemon outside of battle. The katana of light can also be used as a source of light to illuminate dark caves. You put the katana of light away in your key item. You may steal shadow Pokemon from the Akui clan. A drive, you must use the power of light to counter these shadow Pokemon. Capture their Pokemon and purify them for good. Uh, do I attack him or do I try to catch him? I guess I echo voice again. I just knocked him out. How'd you do that? But I guess we can catch them if I want to. Very good, A drive. You seem to have the same abilities as your father. We're not done yet. That's enough, both of you. I'll never understand you, Kenshi, and your formalities. You, your, I suppose I should introduce myself. What a pain. The name's Masi Mashiro Nato, senior Kenshi of the Akui clan. They call me the Hound of Disrespect. Look at you, Mr. High and Mighty. You look as bad as ever. How dare you talk to the Shogun like that? Oh, how cute. Isn't it a bit hypocritical? You preach respect, and yet this is how you talk to your superior? See, this is why I detest the codes of the Bushido. They're so restricting. Sometimes you just have to let yourself be free. Then you can truly experience the greatness of life. Shadow Pokemon are uninhibited by nonsense like honor and emotions. Allow me to demonstrate. Katana of Shadows, Corrupt Style. Darumaka, are you okay? Darumaka. This is what liberation truly is. Well, I'm afraid I must take my leave. Bye-bye now. Is everyone all right? Oh, Sakuru, no worries. Your two pupils have fended off the attackers. You have raised them well. I humbly accept your praise, my lord. Unfortunately, there have been some damages as well. It seems the Akui clan are stealing Pokemon and corrupting them. However, A Drive, it's curious. Your father has been missing ever since I sent him on a mission to Yami Island, home to the Akui clan. And now, here, th here you show up with Ryu's katana, followed by two Kenshi of the Akui clan. Didn't you mention something about Celebi too? Oh, I see. Celebi must have come from the island to give you the katana. This means two things. First, Rio is in danger. Second, Celebi has recognized you as the one to go save him. But my lord, yes, Sukira, I am aware that your pupils have yet to be trained. In that case, A Drive, I ask that you travel the Ice Shell region. Due to your unusual affinity, I cannot assign you to a clan at present. By traveling to the three major cities, you will be able to learn the ways of the Katana of Light. Then you will be able to bring an end to the Akui clan's misdoings. Do you accept? Yeah, I guess so. I have the weekend free. Very good. Your first destination will be Suchi Village, home of the Komori clan of grass. Go south through the forest and speak to the Komori clan leader on my behalf. There is a special shrine there, and if you pray to it, you should awaken the Katana of Light further. Now, A Drive, since you do not have an affinity that I can measure, I'm afraid you will be unable to use special katana techniques in battle. You are the wielder of the katana of light now, however. A pure soul begets an instrument of purity. You must understand that the katana of light is meant to be used properly. A katana is said to be the soul of a samurai. Do not tarnish your soul. Use that katana for justice, as your father did. Thank you, my lord. I shall help A-Drive make preparations immediately. All right, so that's some stuff right there. Masharda Sorting Hat can't sort us. We don't have a clan, which means we don't get to do fancy things like burn stuff and throw spikes in the field right now. But we can illuminate darkness and purify shadow Pokemon and catch the Akubi clan's Pokemon. So that's kind of fuego. I don't know how we do that in a Nuzlocke though. Like what's our rule for that? I, I, we need to figure that out. So you guys let me know if anyone's played ahead. Do I allow myself one shadow Pokemon per battle? Like what am I doing? Should, Cause I could have caught that Nicket, but I just destroyed his soul. Cause you know, we're Nuzlocking. So I take my chances. You must do as the Shogun told you. My weak body will be unable to accompany you, but... Your father aura shines bright in your eyes. With the Pokemon by your side and your katana, nothing can go wrong. Except all my Pokemon faint and the Nuzlocke ends and then the series is over. I wish you luck, my pupil. I'll get my Darumaka back. I won't let the Akui clan corrupt my friend's soul. 
I'm so sorry for your little Darumaka. That's, that's kind of a rough day. Chapter two, leadership and dishonor. Yo, they hit us with chapter two, ladies and gentlemen. And now Zoroa or Eclipse is with us. Eclipse is chilling. I love our team right now. I do wish we had a few more Pokemon, but I do love our team quite a bit. And uh, I don't think we can do anything at the beach now. I think our play is we have to head south uh, to the route where we got our Zoroa and explore there. So let's head on that way. I fight with my fists, I never lose. All right, we got ourselves a black belt up ahead. Let's see what you got for me. It's got two mons, it's got a sock. Bro, this game is serious with level scales, jeez. Dude legitimately just sends out, and it's faster than me. Dude, that was, that was scary. Um, if he crits any one of those kicks, I think we lose a mon. And here comes throw. Throw is even a bigger problem, but I think Paula, I just gotta play this save. We just go Paula here, and I can yawn in confusion is gonna be our play. Leer, um, I don't think throw is gonna be able to hit me very hard though. Circle throw, oh, uh, he's gonna do that and switch me out. Uh, into who? Into Poseidon, and it is actually Poseidon, so I'll just Razor Shell then. Gotta make sure we don't actually go into, <laughs> into Eclipse, right? And then uh, get caught off guard, that would be kind of bad. But our Razor Shell's doing big things. Nice defense drop. And Poseidon, King of the Brocian, coming through, holding its trident high. Level 19, baby. You love to see that. A lot of XP. Oh my god. And Water Pulse! Yes! I think it's time we get rid of Curse. We haven't used it yet. And we're especially offensive. Nice, dude. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I think I'm gonna throw down some healing jams, and then I'm gonna try to battle this person. The water behind you, can you hear it flowing? Oh, this is someone from the Shimizu clan. So this this person has water types. And they're gonna lead it off with a pan pour. I love this. This is so cool. Okay. Sammy is really solid here. I think we wanna steal a berry if we can. Oh, he makes it rain! Yo! And he gets a special defense boost. Alright, we're clicking block in case he's got a berry. I thought it said water spout for a second, and I was about to cry. Because a pan pour should learn water spout. It looks like it should. Uh, if it had water spouted, it would have done so much to us. And here comes a Timpole. I think we're, let's level 18 Timpole. When did this happen? These levels are nuts. Like I'm, I'm appropriately leveled right now, but the level scale in this game is serious business. Like, that's crazy. Level 18 already. I mean, I'm not complaining. I love it, but that's crazy stuff. Oh, I could have had a guaranteed Shinx, bro. I could have had a guaranteed Shinx if I held off. I'll take what I got, but. Man, that would have been kind of high, I'm not gonna lie. Cut it down, Katana! All right, I'm gonna head up there. I think there's some items up there. I'm gonna use a healing jam. Let's get Sammy healed up. And let us battle you. Kamore Kenshe. I want that rare candy, that's why I'm here. I want the rare candy. You've got one Pokemon, it's a Cottony. Level 18, dude. Sammy has been so good, though. Two can Samantha, doing big things. Gra oh, yo, it set up Grassy Terrain and gave him an attack boost. I think we one shot though, if I'm being real. Almost. He gets the Grassy Terrain boost. I'll just pluck again. He's got Prankster, so he's not gonna be that strong. Yeah, we're good. Good job, Sammy. Poseidon grew to 20, and I beat the Kamori Clan. Let's see what these items are. There was a Pokeball up there too. Obviously a rare candy, very nice. And then there was a Great Ball right here. And a little Nicket. I take the XP when I can get it. I'll rock smash it. And it actually is a great ball. That was a little disappointing, I'm gonna be honest. Right, I'm gonna battle this person. Up ahead is the Shizen Forest. Let me see if you're ready to enter. Ooh, forest means bug Pokemon, and I love me some bug Pokemon. Got a Toxel. Level 20 Toxel. Oh my God, and he has a defense boost, okay. I gotta go Paula. Tell me how there's a level, well, like, what is that, bro? What is that? Acid? Jeez, that hurts. Uh, I think I yawn. I think we pretty much always yawn if we can. It's like a really safe move. Because I'm gonna take another Acid. I get a special defense drop, which means I have to switch now, but he's gonna fall asleep. So like, and a confusion, and now he's sleeping. So we're pretty safe here. He's got to sleep off at least one turn guaranteed. And I mean, I could have just knocked him out with two confusions as well, but it's a safer bet. 
for the rest of the team. So Paula having that is so good. Eclipse learning taunt isn't bad. I'll give it a leer. I don't really think we're gonna use it too much, but not too shabby there. And I'm gonna see if there's a hidden item right here. No, there is not. All right, well, on the next episode of Pokemon Bushido, we're gonna be heading into this new forest, getting new encounters, and much, much more. Don't forget to let me know what your Hogwarts hat is. What, 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 where would the sorting hat put you? Let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that like button if you guys are enjoying Pokemon Bushido. This game is beautiful. I'm having so much fun. 6,000 likes, I know you guys could do it. I've seen the A-Drive Army do crazy things. I know you guys could hit 6,000 likes and make sure we have 10,000 on episode one as well. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, bonus episodes on Sunday. Make sure you guys subscribe. That's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive and I will see you guys on the next episode of Pokemon Bushido. Peace.